In this video, I'll show you how to create and use your own custom configurations in imaging so you can connect your local ConfUI workflows or any online AI APIs directly inside 3ds Max. Let's start with ConfUI. If you don't already have it installed, go to the official ConfUI website and download the version for your system. Once you install it, you'll see the main window where you can build your workflows. You can start from any of the included templates, but keep in mind that each workflow might need additional models to be downloaded. I'll use a simple one here just for this demo, but the process is the same for any workflow. If the missing models are listed in the ConfUI database, you'll see an option to download them when you open the workflow. Just download the required ones, and if you do it manually, make sure you place each one in the correct models folder. Once you have everything set up, load an image, enter a quick prompt and hit run. You see the result appear in the output node. That means the workflow is working correctly. We're not focusing on the image result yet. What matters here is how to transfer this workflow into a imaging. When you're happy with the setup, save it as a new file. Next, we'll convert it into a configuration that a imaging can use directly inside 3ds Max. To make this step easy, we've built a custom GPT that automatically converts ConfUI workflows into Imagine configurations. You'll find the link to it on our website or in the description below. Just drag and drop your workflow file into the ChatGPT window and within a few seconds it will generate the Imagine configuration for you, no manual editing required. Before saving it, make sure that the endpoint address and port match your local ConfUI installation. To check that, open ConfUI, go to Settings, Server Config, and confirm your IP address and port number. If they're different from the defaults, you can even ask ChatGPT to replace them automatically in your configuration. Once everything looks correct, copy the configuration text, paste it into a new file, and save it with the .json extension. Now it's ready to use in Imagine. In 3ds Max, open Imagine, go to Configure APIs, Add API, and select the file you just created. It will appear in your list of available APIs ready to use. Let's test it. I'll create a simple box, load my viewport into a Imagine and run my prompt. And there it is, the workflow runs directly through my local ConfUI setup, fully integrated with 3ds Max. For our existing models, which you can download from our website and extract in ConfUI user default workflows folder, you may need to install additional files. If you see any missing nodes or models in ConfUI, don't worry. Open the manager, click install missing nodes and restart ConfUI. Then download any missing models. You can usually find them by searching the model names online and placing them in the correct models folder listed in this window. After that, your workflows should run smoothly. If your ConfUI installation runs on a different address or a different port, you should also update that in the Imagine Configure APIs menu. Now let's look at how to connect cloud APIs. You can use almost any provider, but because there are so many different formats, you can use the same custom GPT to try to build the imaging configurations automatically. For example, I'll open the free pick documentation for the new Google Gemini Flash model. I can copy the API URL and paste it into our chat GPT, and with the thinking model enabled, it will read through the documentation, collect all the parameters, and build the correct configuration for a imaging. When it's ready, I just copy the code, save it as a .json file, and it's ready to be used with a imaging inside 3ds Max. You can also edit this API to match your workflow. For example, rename it to edit image or create a new configuration for style transfer. If you want to use two reference images instead of one, just change the parameter mapping from image to images. This way, a imaging will use both left and right images as inputs for the style transfer. Save the configuration in a .json file, edit in a imaging, and you're ready to go. Let's test this one. I'll convert the image into a modern house in the countryside using the style of the second image as reference. And here's the result, a new, style-transferred version of our house, created entirely with our own configuration. It takes just a few steps, but this is where Imagine really shines, giving you the freedom to connect any AI model, local or cloud, and build the workflow that fits your creative process. We'll keep improving this system and sharing more tutorials on how to make your own configurations even faster. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe and let us know what you'd like to see next. See you in the next video.